Welcome back again. So this will be a follow-up video for the Wi-Fi jammers. And a lot of you asked which one should I recommend? The one with the built-in amplifier or the one without? And buying the separate amplifier. First of all, as you remember from my previous videos, this one was my first one. So let's focus on this one first. So this is a jammer without an amplifier. And it has a low range, let's say a couple of meters, maybe three or four, maybe five maximum. And it's a pretty simple PCB. And it's capable of jamming three frequencies, 2.4, 5.2 and 5.8. But as you remember, I had to change the buffer for 2.4 because it was faulty. In fact, it was burnt in couple of seconds when I firstly plugged it uh, on a power bank because it's using a micro USB. So you can use a, a power switch or a power bank. So this is a changed buffer, if it will focus, okay. And I've chosen a heat gun in order to change it. And I also have the old one, hope it will focus. It doesn't want to focus. Hmm. Okay. Let me try again. Okay, so this is the old one. Not sure how much can you see. Okay, it's perfect. This is the old one, which is burnt. And this is the replacement. And I bought three of the replacements then, because I was afraid I would burn them all. But fortunately, it was not the case. So this is capable of jamming around five meters, let's say the most. But since it doesn't have an amplifier built in, you can attach an amplifier. So you can use touch cables with SMA on both ends. So one end goes, let's say to the 2.4 and one end will go to an amplifier. And I also bought a 2.4 amplifier. Uh, it's a signal booster usually it's used for uh, remote control toys, let's say cars or planes or such as. It amplifies the range which is used for the connection between your remote control and your toy. It also works with this one because it's just a range amplifier. It's not. It's a signal booster, but it's, it amplifies the range. For the communication, so it works well with this. Uh, and this is a two watts amplifier. So that's the thing. You can buy larger ones. I mean, powerful ones. You can buy a four watts, a six watts, a eight watts, a ten watts amplifier, and the range will increase depending on what amplifier do you use. For this one, it has a built-in amplifier, so it can be used only on 2.4 so this is the only um, frequency that it jams and it uses a uh, USB-C so it's again 5 volts power consumption and you will connect directly the antenna uh, with the SMA here I also bought some 10 dBi antennas but they are maximum 4 dBi <laughs> yeah, they are not as advertised and they rattle a lot so yeah, I didn't use them so much. So the main thing at the end is if you have to choose between a jammer that has an amplifier built in and one that doesn't, I would go to the one which doesn't, even if it's a single spectral thing, even if it works only 2.4, because 
if it doesn't have an amplifier, you can use an amplifier. You can buy separate an amplifier, and this one works with a power supply between, I think, 8 volts and in, until 24, so between 8 and 24 volts. You can also use a 9 volt battery to, to power it up. So I would go for the one without an amplifier because you can buy a separate one, but with these which ha have already an amplifier built in, you can't use an amplifier after. I mean, if this one has, it's written, one watt, one watt amplifier, this doesn't mean if you have here one watt amplifier and you bring this one with two watt, it will make three. No, it will stay one watt and it doesn't sum up. So plugging this onto this, it will be useless because it doesn't sum up. It will remain one watt amplifier because it's built in. But in this case, you can add what amplifier you want. So that's with the, with what would I choose between those. And I will jump a little on the buying part. A lot of these aren't available anymore, like the jammer. If we want to buy it now, it's not available anymore. It says it's 42, but, but when I bought it, it was 39 in 2021. Also, the antennas are not available from the sellers that I, I bought them, but you can find from other sellers now. And the SMA connectors, they are still available. So it depends which one you will need. You will need female to male, something like this. It's around two bucks each. It depends how many you buy, but they also have two packs or four packs. And also it's a wide variety of ranges for the cable. If you want to have the antennas outside, let's say, and the jammer inside the house. Also the amplifier, it's available. So uh, this is a 4 watt, sorry, so this is a 4 watt and it will be basically more powerful than the integrated one of Wampa. And there's also a 5.8 gigahertz available for 5 watt, also one 5 watt or 2.4, but I don't think this is accurate. So this is a 5, this is a 4, okay. And for 5.8, also 5, right? I'm not sure if it's available, but if it's the correct information, because I remember this one being a 2 watt amplifier and this one being a 4, I think. If I remember correctly, but it was 2021, so. This is the buffer, it's not available anymore. This is the buffer, it's not available anymore, but you can find it for uh, from other sellers. Again, this other jammer isn't available anymore, but for sure it's available from other sellers. So there's a large variety of jammers available nowadays. And with a single search, let's see the first one. You can choose 2.4 and it's $44. It has a 2 watts amplifier built in. For the other frequencies, it's more expensive, but the reviews are quite negative. It's working, it says someone. Effectively, yeah, this one, it seems like crap. Uh, this one's interesting. Let me open a few of those and don't waste much time. And I think this is an amplifier. And it depends how much do you want to spend on it. And now it's called an anti-drone. Yeah, because it, it, it's somehow true, it also works with drones. Okay, that's enough. So, uh, what to choose? 2.4, 10 watts, $100. Okay, this is nice. This I would buy. And 2.4, 20 watts, 150. This is cheap enough. 
for 20 watts. I think it has a bit of range. At least should have a lift at least 50 meters or so. At least. And it has good reviews. I can't understand them, but yeah, good reviews. Okay, let's see the next one. Um, those are only antennas, okay? This is a 30 watts, 2.4177, one single review. I'm not sure if I would buy it as one single review. I don't trust sellers with not enough reviews, to be honest, at least on, on AliExpress. This is an amplifier, so yeah, it can be used for jamming Bluetooth, but it's not a jammer, it's an amplifier. Okay. This is again a 2.4 10 watts, but it's I think it's more expensive. That one was one hundred dollars. This is one forty. I think this is the same product. Yeah, it's the same. Do we have 2.430? No. Okay. Uh, oh my god, 50 watts. Do we have something for yeah 2.450 watts? Three hundred dollars again. Does it says the range? This guy has so many. <laughs> you can block an entire neighborhood. Oh my god. So let's see. Twenty dBs, sixty watts. Forty six dBs. Hmm. The antenna is twenty. Let's see the specifications. Nothing. This is very antenna. Yeah. Okay. What's 50 watts? It's not so many. It's like having a mining farm, but with jammers. That would be cool. 20 watts, 195. Mm. What is this? This is an amplifier, okay. But it's one watt amplifier. Oh, it's too low. Twenty watts and two thousand dollars. It's just going to say. And the last one, 20 watts, 2.4, 150. Yeah, it's okay. The pricing, it's okay. But it depends, as I said. On what do you want to buy? I think I would stick with the first one. Not sure if it was with this one because it has 130 sold. So. This is just a second because I sold this one, which is the one that I have. It's thirty six dollars there with one watt amplifier and yeah. and it also comes with the antenna and the cable. So yeah. and you can buy for other frequencies as well. But I, I think I would go with this one if I had to buy a new one. I think with the one with twenty watts. Should be nice to experiment. I will think about it. Not sure. I will think about it and maybe I will purchase a new one. Okay. This is all for today. Thank you for watching. Yeah. Don't forget to subscribe. Cheers.